Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. Let me adjust this just a little bit here. You know, it's uh, got to be in the right spot. Hopefully it is. Hopefully <laughs> it's just the same. So I guess uh, Candace Owens is no longer at the Daily Wire. And that's all over the place. So according to what I'm seeing, now that I can see clearly with my glasses, according to what I'm seeing on the internet... And um, I see people saying all kinds of stuff like, yeah, she, it's about time she quit that awful place or they should have fired her a long time ago. Uh, my thoughts are a little bit different as I'm looking at this. I, I've noticed this trend with people on social media on the right. I, I don't really follow that many people on the left. So I don't know if this happens over there too. If people are just like quit or get mad and start, you know, these feuds. But it just, it just seems to me that... Uh, a lot of these people are a little bit on the volatile side. Oh, thanks for sticking with us. So before I get too far, I want to encourage each of you to join in the conversation. I am not an expert in anything, so... You probably know more about some of this stuff than I do, especially when it comes to this Candace Owens stuff, because, I, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't follow Candace Owens. I don't follow Ben Shapiro. I guess what I should have said when I was saying, you know, like, I don't uh, follow people on the left, I, I actually don't follow that many people at all. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm just looking at it, though, from my perspective and thinking, is, is this why I'm not doing so well? I, I look at it and I think, you know, this is kind of unprofessional, the way that people are doing things. They, like, quit. They they have contracts and they throw it at everybody, like, look at this awful contract from this company, you know. Um, I was always told, like, you don't uh, bash your old boss because then the new boss might wonder, like, hmm, what's, uh, what's going on here? You remember that if you ever go into a job interview. When they ask you, you know, what was your old job like, that's not an opportunity to rant about your old boss. Believe me, you, you don't want to do that. Of course, today things are so different, you know. Nobody is uh, following the old rules. They, they kind of died when, about the time that I started losing all of my work here in the United States. I remember that day. Uh, you think you're going to work for a company the rest of your life? Ha! Ah, no, it's moved to Mexico. We don't need you anymore. Here's a week's pay. Thanks for all your hard work. We thought about sending you to Mexico, but uh, somebody convinced us not to. <laughs> it's like, no, why? Of course, that's okay. I went to China instead, so everything worked out in the end. But, you know, I'm looking at this, and my, like I said, my initial thought is, you know, this is kind of unprofessional behavior, isn't it? If that's the case, these people are very volatile for some reason. And then I started to think about it. You know, I being the professional one well not really i'm not a professional at all but you know i'm i'm thinking about it my way and i'm not getting anywhere on the social media stuff so maybe that's the the reason why i just need to be more bombastic like those people you know i need to start throwing fits of course nobody's given me contracts so i don't even have awful contracts to complain about but you know we could try that oh that ben shapiro that uh Let's see, what would we say about Ben Shapiro? That Zionist. Man, he's all pro-Israel or, you know, Candace Owens. Boy, that, uh, she's all in with the the terrorists or something, you know. Or I, I don't know what the problem was. I know that there was something that happened that created a feud between her and Ben Shapiro. And it was all related to Israel because Ben Shapiro is on the side of Israel and apparently she's maybe not. I, I don't think that she's necessarily, well, I don't know. You know, you guys are going to have to tell me what the uh, the deal is with these people. Why the feud? Because it, it just all seems a little strange to me. Like I said, even if I'm, you know, not liking my boss, I'm not going to go out there and say, like, that guy's a real, geez, you know, you don't want to work at that place. I'll tell you that. Uh, but like I said, that's probably what's wrong with me. I should be on here, you know, complaining about everybody. That seems to be what gets people ahead, you know. This would be my moment right now to start saying bad stuff about them. I guess I kind of did. I, I don't know <laughs> the whole thing with the uh, Zionist. I keep seeing that on Twitter, I guess. Zionist this and Zionist that. I'm... I, you know, they have all these crazy conspiracy theory ideas, apparently, about Zionists, and they're trying to bring about the second coming of Jesus, so they're, like, 
funding all this stuff. I, I've heard the same thing about Muslims. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know that any of that is true. You know, that they, they want to bring about the destruction because that's when the third imam, I'm, I'm totally butchering it. I'm sorry, I'm not uh, Muslim. I've had some brief encounters with people who are Muslim, who have worked for me. But um, the, the furthest I ever got into the discussion was, you know, a greeting, which is just the common greeting in Arabic, you know. So if somebody talked to me, I'd be like, oh, salam alaikum, you know. I, I probably butchered that too. But you see what I mean? I don't know. People are telling me that they're like, they're trying to, they want to bring about this, uh, the end of the, of the world or something. And then they're telling me, well, Zionists are trying to bring about the end of the world. And then they're telling me, you know, it's the, the, the all this other weird stuff about people running banks. And I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking like, you know, I think all of this is a little bit uh, not true or, you know, is being blown out of proportions. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. There could be a group of people sitting there plotting about the end of the world. There could be, maybe. They could be conspiring to run all the banks in the world in Hollywood and all of that. I, I just don't don't know about that. This whole Zionist, thing, the whole the other side too. But um, let me tell you, if that's the way to get ahead, is to bash all these uh, other social media people. Well, we can do the. You know, it'd be like that Tim Pool. You know, he's a skater. And the, what else do I need to say other than that? You want to listen to somebody's opinion? You better keep in mind that guy's a skater. And uh, let's see who else is on. Oh, yeah, Jeremy Hambly, the, the quartering. You look at that guy pushing his coffee. You better watch out about his opinions. You know what they say about used coffee salesmen. Do, ooh, that doesn't sound very good at all. Used coffee. I have all these. Uh, somebody told me that coffee was good for, like, compost at some point. So I started saving up, you know, like I'll make my my coffee. You see it every time that I make the video. It has that little intro thing with the coffee machine. So I take that puck of coffee grinds and just dump it into a bucket. And I guess it just piled up. You know, I, I was dumping it in a, in a spot. And then the rain started coming and I <laughs> just piled up. I don't know. It's kind of nasty now that I think about it. Used coffee. I, I, can you get? I wonder if you know. Has anybody done experiments like once you've actually run it through the machine? Is there any caffeine left in the leftover grinds? Oh, don't tell me that's how they do the decaf. That it's actually like coffee that's been run through a few times, so that it doesn't have any of the caffeine in it. That that's a terrible thought. And of course, I don't drink decaf coffee. If you're gonna drink coffee. Why would you subject yourself? I guess sometimes, you know, it can taste good depending on the kind of drink you're making. But I don't know. Does if, if that's how they do the decaf thing, then I can't imagine it having very much flavor other than, you know, nasty rancidness. But um, that would be alarming. Of course, like I said, I, I don't drink decaf coffee. I think I one, one time my wife had bought some coffee, these coffee grinds when we were in Europe. And, you know, because it's in a different language. Shame on her. She's the one that knows French. And, uh, and I'm like, this coffee does nothing. It's like, I, I might as well just be drinking nasty water. And I'm looking at it, and I discovered that it was, you know, decaf. Use the whole Google Translate thing, which is really useful as much as people hate Google. You know, it's really cool that you can point the phone at the thing and it translates it, you know, or you can translate people's voices in real time. Some Not, not really. It, it's not that great. <laughs> the translations aren't that great. But they're getting there, you know, with AI, even though apparently AI is not reliable. Um, I just found that out. You know, if you're thinking that you're going to use ChatGPT and it's going to give you all the answers, you know, to your test questions, guess what? If it doesn't know the answer or it can't find it, it'll just make something up. And then your teacher's going to hate you like, this guy or gal or whatever, you know, just wrote this garbage on the test. It doesn't even know. He just made something up. Seriously, and you're going to be scratching your head like, I, I, I used the the AI, you know, the new technology. It, how could it, it's impossible? The teacher must be wrong. No, it's the AI lying to you. They call it a hallucination, apparently. I don't know. I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day, and there's another one of those people that pushing horse medicine stuff. That guy, isn't that well? You know, and actually, I like Joe Rogan. He's pretty good. The horse medicine. I when did he push? horse stuff never mind anyway he had a guy from google on there that uh, seemed kind of out of touch about things you know 
you get used to the guests that come on Joe Rogan. They usually have, you know, they're really good at talking and they're entertaining people. This guy, I I don't think that he knows how to uh, have conversations with people. Like I said, an engineer, a programmer from Google who'd been working with AI since like the 1970s, I guess is what he was saying. Um, I can only imagine that AI was very primitive at that point. Did, I didn't think they had AI back then, but I guess that shows you what I know. But uh, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> the most boring conversation. Joe Rogan is on there trying to like uh, get him into the conversation, you know, commenting about his uh, suspenders and the guy's just like, no, no, no. almost you know, maybe that guy is an AI. That's the problem. He's talking to the AI and it doesn't quite know how to. Oh, that well, maybe that just goes to explain a lot. You know, that's why AI is so terrible. It's because of the people programming it. You know, it's supposed to be having conversations like real human conversations and the people programming it. They don't even know the first thing about having a conversation with somebody. So you get this uh, this machine that just doesn't know what it's doing at all and comes up with weird answers. I don't know. I guess at Google anyway, the Gemini thing. That's uh, that's who is programming Gemini. People like that. Maybe he came on Joe Rogan for damage control. It didn't help at all. He seemed to be really into like the uh, end of the world stuff, you know. The whole world is coming, crashing to an end. Anyway, I uh, I thought I'd get on here. It's Friday and the beginning of my son's spring break. But I wanted to make a video and put it up besides the one that I did earlier that... Uh, what did I what did I do earlier well you guys know possibly if you watched it but uh, it's probably not as fun as this one I I hope maybe this one's more annoying but just the same oh yeah I was giving some advice about finding little things to look forward to um, good advice I would say it didn't come from me it came from someone else so I, I wish that I was someone who had good advice I can only share at good advice that others have shared with me Maybe that's the way that it works. That's how wisdom is. I don't have much of it, but uh, I've picked some bits and pieces of it from here and there as I've been doing my travels. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this really random, sporadic video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>